All right, good morning. It is damn cold this morning. Uh, today is, I believe, day 31. It was also the last <coughs> day of my first month out here. So it's yeah, the 28th of April. Um, yeah, unexpectedly cold this morning. Um, I did a weather report, a weather check on my little satellite messenger thingy here last night and uh, said the coldest it was going to get last night was 9 degrees Celsius. So I don't know, it's about high 40s or something in Fahrenheit, but I couldn't sleep all night, it was so cold. I don't know why all my gear should be rated for uh, much colder, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't get warm and then I woke up this morning and got all of my water but some of my water was uh, like a nice icy slurry so you can see it was colder than 9 degrees Celsius. Um, as you can see I've got my buff on this morning, I mean I pulled it down for this but normally all morning I've been hiking up over my face like this because yeah, it's frosty. Uh, fortunately, the sun's up now and things are starting to warm up and I've got a 2,000 foot climb up this mountain over the next six miles. Um, but yeah, I thought it was funny after yesterday's wind about me mate who I can't seem to escape. I thought I did for a while but he ended up rolling into camp last night. But uh, what I thought was particularly funny was so I set up my tent last night as a barrier. I just given how close he slept the night before and I just wanted somewhere I could escape. I just set up my tent. For the first time in, in the, probably 10 or 11 days. And then um, I was actually surprised I remembered how I managed to uh, plant the seed of the idea in a no no's head. So she set up her tent quite close to mine and positioned it in such a way that it made it difficult to uh, get close. There was still plenty of space, I mean, I'm not that much of an asshole. There was tons of space for 20 or 30 people to spread out and sleep and camp over there wanted to. So it wasn't like I was taking up space that someone could use, I just was buying myself some personal space this guy doesn't seem to understand. So anyway, what I found funny was <clears throat> not only did he come in and set up his tent as well, about 10 others who've all been cowboy camping for as long as I've pretty much known. Everyone's been cowboy camping for a while now because it's just so dry and there's no bugs and why would you set up a tent? But for some reason I set up my tent last night and then everybody came in set up their tents. I don't know, I found that funny, just he was doing what everyone else was doing because everyone else was doing it. Like somehow, oh, the people with the tent set up must have known something. They must know something that I don't know, so I'll set up my tent too. <coughs> I was only uh, one, French, one French girl stargazer who's still cowboy camped. So I give her respect for Looking at whatever else is, else is doing, going, that makes no sense. And uh, doing her own thing anyway. So, yeah, that was my uh, bit of. Well, it wasn't the only bit of comic Because we're now, I guess, in. I still don't really believe we're in bear territory. Still very deserty. I just can't see any reason for bears to be around here. It's not much from Greet. But, uh,. Yeah, we're getting a lot more signs in these little campgrounds we go through and, and day use areas and all the bins are now bear proof bins and or trash cans, bear trash cans. And some places even have uh, bear boxes where you can put your food and stuff, but I haven't stayed anywhere that's so got that yet. So things get a bit more serious and I've learned that I'm about the only one who didn't come prepared that I thought everyone who 
flew right this trail, just slept with their food in their tent and risked it. Risked it. Um, except for the areas where you're legally required to carry a bear can yourself. But now everyone else has rope, so I've been hanging my food at night with uh, with Nona, who've been sharing her power cord, and I've learned how to hang food from a tree and, uh, you know, and tie knots and all that kind of stuff. So that's been fun. It's always hilarious watching people, including myself, trying to uh, launch the like a rock with a rope tied around it over the over the branch they want in the right spot and hoist up the food bags, especially just this early on. We've only been doing it for a few nights now. So it's still pretty funny to watch and join in on. And I've got some good little video clips, so they'll get linked in with this. Probably you haven't seen it because it's sun at the moment. But yeah, I don't know, I feel good today. Much happier, I've got a good head start on Old Man this morning. He was barely out of his tent, and by the time I hiked out his tent, everything was still set up, so. Very nice. Nice head start. Unfortunately, the distances we cover, uh, and the way the water's kind of spread out and very limited and that means actually escaping him without the only way I can really do it is to kind of ruin my own hike by doing some 30 plus mile days to really put essential days between us and I don't enjoy that so I'm not going to do that I just try and keep my distance so I don't have to deal with him during the day um, and at some point, I guess, hopefully he'll get ahead. I'd rather he be ahead, but anyway, he's harmless, just, just annoying. And as I said, pretty rich coming from me. If I say someone doesn't shut up, because yeah, I talk a lot. But on that note, I'm gonna wrap it up and keep climbing up this damn hill. All right. Apparently my head start was not enough. This guy's really starting to force my hand. It's minding my own business, sitting on a rock on the side of the trail, tending to my feet, some blisters and things, just trying to stay on top of it and keep everything in working order. Literally, I'm not at a break spot. I'm just sat on the side of the trail, messing with my feet. And up he strolls. Oh. Yeah, it's about time I had a break too, I think. Sits down right beside me. Just, god damn it, like, how can there be this much space out here? This much wilderness and mountains, and why do I always end up within three feet of this asshole? He doesn't actually do anything wrong, except just not shut up. As soon as he sat down, he starts telling me how he just finished his audio book, and now he's out of audio books, and Typical whinging fucking pom. Just. I, I'm not even acknowledging his existence anymore. He's really like. I'm trying to avoid the conflict of telling him to his face that, hey, you're really goddamn annoying. Can you please stay the hell away from me? And just being an asshole by basically not even acknowledging him. You know, one word answers to his questions, not even acknowledging him most of the things he says. It's not taking a hint though. If anything, it's making him try harder. And I'm starting to think I've, I've got enough food that I think I can actually take an extra day to get to the next town. Um, and then I'll be out of food, but I can probably do it. Whereas he's already gone on and on about how he's running low on food and he's gonna have to hightail it to the town. He's just got enough to make it. So he thinks. I'm starting to think I just need to take it on trail zero or something just to put a day between us. But for some reason, when I'm in front, he just catches me. And when he's in front, I catch him. So I've known that if I let him get a day ahead, I'll still catch him. Oh. Still on my heading. Start yelling serenity now from the top of these mountains. 
serenity now. Uh, anyway, it is actually a pretty wicked view. I'm going to do a little 360 in a second here once I get on this rock. And you will hopefully see what's out behind me, which is really hard to stay angry when you've got views. I sort of, hopefully you can get a bit of an idea what's out there. So, yeah, it's hard to stay angry when, uh, when you're looking at stuff like that, but this guy's pushing my buttons. It's a Saturday morning, and I don't know if the uh, microphone on this will pick it up, but all I've been able to hear all morning is a uh, sports bike just cranking through these mountains. It's been the common theme for the last couple of days. This is, I guess because we're so close to LA and there's these twisty mountain roads up here, it sounds like a racetrack down there. And it's, for me, it's kind of awesome. It really takes me back to when I used to do stupid shit like that. If this trail had a voice, or if it could speak, I'm sure it'd say something along the lines of, oh, congratulations on your recent hill climb. Your reward is you can go down this hill. And then when you get to the bottom, it'll be like, ha <laughs> sucker, you fell for it. Now you can go back up this even bigger hill. Oh, it does. You climb some massive ass mountain, just go down the other side, and go straight back up the next one. Nowhere on my PCT permit does it say anything about hills. It's bullshit.